Okay, this is the Fast Stone Resizer. You're going to put it on Batch Convert, and when it opens, you get a window that looks like this, and you go, huh? Now you can browse to your folders by clicking this and then finding um, under your name. My name, real name's Ellen. And then you can go to your pictures. Okay. And then it opens them. And you can change the view here. You can have different views. So you can pick out the pictures you want. Here, let me just click, click and then shift click. And then click add to put them over here. Now to get your watermark on them, now this is, they're all JPEGs, okay? To put your watermark on them, check mark here where it says use, use advanced options, and then click advanced options, and you get this wonderful thing where you can resize it, and if you click it, you get all the options here. You can rotate, crop, I don't know what canvas does, oh, change the canvas size, that's the area around the picture. You can make different kinds of adjustments. You can change the resolution, which you're going to have to do for uh, for uh, 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 displaying online. And here's your watermark. And then you check mark, add watermark, and you get this watermark image. And see that you have a P PNG here, and you can click this and you can go where your watermark is stored now I don't have I don't think I have my watermark here it's in elements but then you you just you know go where your watermark happens to be let's see if it happens to be in pictures I don't think so no fully oh darn Oh, here, I'll just use one. Of, oh, they're not PNG. I don't have any PNGs, so we're going to have to cancel it. But that's all you do to find your watermark. And then you can pit position it. Okay, bottom right, top center. You can put it in all kinds of positions. Or you can use X and Y axis. You can change the opacity. You know, when I made my watermark in Element, I already made it at a low opacity. But a lot of times you don't want you know bold lettering across your photos so you can lower the opacity make it more transparent you can shadow it put it in the background round I'm just gonna leave it like this and then you can you can save the options you've chosen to a file so that you can use them over and over again and then when you get your watermark all set up you just click OK which I'm not going to do since I don't have a PNG file. Let's just click OK and see what it does. And keep original date and time attributes asked before overriding. And let me see. I want to rename them. Okay. Okay. And then you just click convert. Oh, I didn't do an output folder. Shame on me. Uh, let's put them in my let's put them in my well, let's create a folder and let's name it is my new folder let's name it uh, watermark test okay now I can convert and this is processing four of four files with a watermark. Whoops. I guess it's done already. Well, that was quick. Okay. Okay, here's my watermark test. Let's see what it did. Oh, and look at it. put a watermark down here in the corner. That was great, actually. I'm, I'm glad I downloaded this so I can use it myself. So that's wonderful. I did a really good job. You can tell I do a lot of work. My training's in science, so I do a lot of bird stuff. This happens to be a young male western tanager. Okay, well, this is a great little program. If you have any questions about it, click on my avatar and email me. And uh, 
I hope this works out wonderfully well for you. I'm going to enjoy using this program. Okay.